Rubber ducky, you're so gross. Today on the show. Good morning, scallywags. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a good weekend. We had a great weekend now that we've got working equipment again. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in case you missed uh, last this, this past week, um, yeah. Thursday's Thursday, episode. the memory card inside the camera completely crashed. So, like, the last few seconds of Thursday's episode was just horrendous. And then we actually had to reshoot Friday's episode. Speaking of Friday... You know what this Friday is? Uh, there's something important. Oh, something in, something very something special very happening this Friday. This happening. It's our 200th episode. What? I know. We actually what? made it that long? It's gone by so fast. Wow, okay. And I then we're just... actually coming up on our one year anniversary here pretty yep, soon as we well. Are. I think that's in no, June. We only have done 200 in a year. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so just, you know, Way to bring the mood you know, down. Poop on yeah. my parade. But anyway, we've got uh, what you might have missed. we got some fun news for you and stuff. And, uh, yeah, what, what you got? Well, as our stinger alluded to, um, a study by both Swiss and American researchers have concluded that the inside of your bath time fun toy, the rubber ducky, is indeed gross. Oh, yeah. Very gross. Oh, boy. The bacteria found included Legionella, Pseudomonas, and bacterium that often implicated in hospital acquired infections, the implicated. authors implicated. Impl implicated, implicated, implicated in hospital acquired. I can I, hashtag implicate. I, implicate. Never, I can't even say that on purpose. Right? Implicated. Uh, the study by the Swiss Federal Institute of Aquatic Science and Technology, ETH Zurich, and the University of Illinois was published Tuesday in the Journal of Biofilms and Microbiomes. It's billed as one of the first in-depth scientific examinations of its kind. Uh, they turned up a stinkingly <coughs> high volume, 75 million cells per square centimeter, and variety of bacteria and fungus in the duck. Uh, we found a very big differences between duck. different bath animals, said the microbiologist and lead study author Lisa New. Uh, alluding to other types of back toys like for. like rubber crocodiles that were also also examined, one of the reasons was the material because it released carbon that can serve as food for the bacteria. Uh, known for squeaks and eulogized in Sesame Street songs on TV, rubber ducks, you're the one, have been childhood bath time staples for years. Amazon.com lists one such offering, advertised it's watertight to prevent mildew among the top ten sellers in baby bath toy categories yeah so next time baby puts that in her mouth well yeah. you've always said eating a little dirt's not a bad thing mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> but just straight bacteria straight just just be mm, legionnaire's disease yes. smells and tastes good i just ate a whole new culture yeah mm. joke. hey maybe uh maybe you know you might even need a drink after that maybe yeah little little drinkage maybe some straight alcohol yeah, that's kind of where i was going with that but, uh, you know, if you're going to get drunk, of course, don't drive. Never drive, no. And especially not if you're headed to your wedding. Oh a bride busted my. for DUI on her way to her own wedding. Yes, that's right. Maybe next time she'll say, I do, to sober driving. <laughs> that's right. An Arizona woman involved in a three-car accident uh, was charged this week with driving under the influence on the way to her wedding, according to news reports. Wearing, uh, the, got the dress on and everything for the big day, a handcuffed Amber Young, 32 years old, was pictured being ushered by an officer into a Morena Police Department squad car. Don't drive impaired till death do we part doesn't need any help, said Sergeant Chriswell Scott. Wow. That's right. He uh, put that up on Twitter and, and then actually took it down because, well, you know, it's a little, a little distasteful, but true nonetheless. Nonetheless, yes. Uh, police said that officers arrived at the crash scene about 1030 and one person was transported with just minor injuries, luckily. Uh, Young was booked, her blood sample extracted, and she signed a criminal citation to appear in court later. Uh, she was released to her fiancé. So, somewhat happy ending, I guess, there. Did they get married, or did he just like... Uh, well, actually, Scott went on, went on to say that he did not know if the two went on to with the wedding date or not. 
uh, a police spokesman was not immediately available. Wow. Um, so why? Here my comes question the bride. Is, my question is, like, is, a, like a bar. Is is how bad or ugly is the groom that she has to go to her wedding drunk? I know, right? Yeah, somebody didn't want to go through with it. Oh, yeah, how wild till, was the bachelorette party? Till Woo! hangover, do we part? This guy's gonna need some some drinkage afterwards, right. I'm sure. Uh, in Honolulu, Hawaii, Michael Anthony Honolulu. Maggie Como was rescued Friday from between the exterior walls of a Walgreens and Herald College parking structure near Ala Mona in Honolulu. Uh, he said he was bouncing Honolulu. a baseball on top of the head college plaza when it got away from him. Mm. Uh, this is like the six balls, so I think, okay, I've got it down to get Little these. Yep. Uh, Mag Maggie Como said he decided to shimmy down between the walls, even though the space was only about nine inches. That's almost that big. Uh, I saw that it was skinny at the bottom, but I'm skinny, very skinny, he went on to tell. Um, he said he was about 15 feet from the bottom when he felt the space narrow. That's when I learned that, uh oh, <clears throat> hey, I got down here to get the baseball. So I go a little bit lower and a little bit lower. I didn't think I was coming back at that point. Hmm. Uh, the Walgreens customer heard Maggie Como calling for help, and firefighters soon arrived to use drills and hammers hmm. to break through the wall in a process that took more than three hours. I have fun paying for that. Uh, yeah, he's probably going to be paying Walgreens back for that. Yeah. Uh, Maggie Como said he was taken to the hospital in serious condition, but was found to be free of major injuries and is recovering from his ordeal. I'm just happy to be here. You know that. Don't you know? Don't you know? You know, uh, sometimes it's just not worth it. Really? Yeah, yeah. you get people mowing their lawn outside and it's just, just, open just not worth, worth it. I I'm know. so sorry. To get stuck between buildings, I mean. Could you say he was, was stuck between a rock and a hard place? Time and a place, ladies and gentlemen, that is not it. So, if you would like to be the new co-host of the show, send your resume. The immovable object meets the irresistible force? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, you know, mentioned earlier people getting drunk, uh, drunk. And, and when you get drunk, you tend to do stupid things, you know. You tend to forget the laws of physics that affect it, Yeah, no, I'm not saying he was drunk. I'm talking about this person uh, who apparently a uh, woman was arrested after a raunchy come on to the Easter Bunny. No! You heard of humping like rabbits. She, maybe she thought that oh, was literal. Oh, and my jokes were bad. Hey, I said maybe she thought it was literal. I'm talking about her. It wasn't even a... Sure. Uh, trying to make out with the Easter Bunny isn't exactly appropriate behavior. Eg exactly. Yeah. Especially when the kids are watching, but that's what police said an Ohio woman did. Uh, LaDonna Hewitt, 54, was arrested on uh, this last Saturday after police said she lewdly propositioned and grabbed an Easter Bunny working at a carousel park in Mansfield, uh, Ohio. Uh, when Hewitt posed for a photo with the rabbit, witnesses said she inappropriately grabbed the costume character and made suggestive comments within earshot of families at the indoor park. And uh, someone wow. called the police. Uh, we've received a report from a citizen, an unusual, 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 unusual report from a citizen. It's not just me that can't talk I'm just today. Rubbing off. Uh, <laughs> they called us to the Richland Carousel Park of an intoxicated female doing some lewd acts to the Easter Bunny. Assistant Chief uh, Keith Porch told the TV station. Arriving officers found Hewitt on the carousel. And according to arrest report obtained by the smoking gun, mm. officers said that Hewitt seemed to be drunk with slurred speech, bloodshot eyes, and a generally wobbly demeanor. Uh, she was charged with public drunkenness and booked into the county jail. She was released eight hours later. Uh, police did not charge her with assaulting the Easter Bunny. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. Wow. But um, uh, Hewitt's Facebook page seemed amazingly prophetic, featuring a comment that she, quote, can be a handful, but most of the time, I'm just an idiot. Yes, you are. Yes. This is why furries aren't allowed to grow up. Right, right, yeah. They have conventions for that kind of thing. They do indeed. Yeah. So, got something we might have missed? Put that down in so the comments below. To put some eggs in her basket. Oh, oh my god, no. Wow, bad jokes. We got them. Oh, boy. <laughs> Follow us on all of our social media platforms, the Facebook, the Instagram, and the Twitter. Yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. One and, mouse uh, click. 
when you're going through all the you know the the social media places you know the, the facebook you, you mean like that it. yeah you can stop right there on the facebook and uh shoot us a private message letting us know if you'd like to get one of our the show t-shirts they're comfy comes in a vast array of colors they're soft uh, yeah very soft very comfy I'm just kicking yeah. a puppy uh they you know you can get uh, just let us know what color of shirt you would like what color of text as well and what size you need and uh short sleeves are 20 bucks long sleeve for 22 or you can get one of our fabulous hoodies for only 25 dollars. there you go yep so uh, that's going to wrap up our monday for you yeah. thank you for joining us thank you as always yes and we'll see you tomorrow i wonder if they were cream filled eggs here's your russian clip of the day Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. We hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, and if you liked what you see, go ahead and click on our faces to go ahead and subscribe to get all of our Monday through Friday stuff. Indeed, and here's a couple of links down below that you can follow to watch more shows like it. Tons of great content right here at Scallywag Productions. We'll see you tomorrow.